Hey guys, what's up? It's October. Um, so, debated doing this video mainly because uh, I know the comment section is probably going to get crazy, but you know, it is what it is. So, here I am. Uh, today we're talking about Toby Rahm. Yes, I know. I'm actually going to scale him as accurately as I possibly can. I know it's been a while because I've done a lot of research. I've talked to a lot of people. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get into this, right? So, we all know Toby Rama as the brother of Hashirama Senju, um, the second Hokage, right? Uh, master water style user, um, master of all of the nature releases as well as the yin and yang release, right? So um, just wanted to get like the data book stuff out of the way. Okay. So um, I'm going to be mainly focusing on Toby Rama while he was alive um, because a lot of people tend to use Edo Tensei as a way to upscale him and even though they also say that he's nerfed whatever um so i'm going to be focusing on toby rama's strength as he would have been alive as hokage or whatever right so we see him the first time in the manga uh he gets brought back to life by uh orochimaru through edo tensei he's called a kage level threat by the ambu that are viewing the the battle essentially and so, bare minimum, like, we can just say he's as strong as a Kage would be, which is normally the strongest. Also, um, I did want to mention real quick that when Orochimaru brings back Hashirama and Tobirama, right, during Edo Tensei, um, he does, but while he's putting the tags in the back of their head, he does state that he's bringing them to their, like, original forms, so with that implication he's saying that they should be at least relative to how they were when alive now once again we don't know the like extent of the edo nerf but um i'll i'll save that for another video um so also like okay so we look at the flashbacks right with madara um hashirama and tobirama and izuna so the data book says that Flying Raijin is a space-time ninjutsu that is used to attack an opponent's blind spot and catch them off guard, essentially. Um, Tobirama uses this on Izuna, who does have the MS, so that would put him probably like mid-low Kage level, bare minimum, if you want to uh, use the scaling of like Shisui over Fugaku, who was like considered for Hokage or whatever. Um, so yeah, with that being said, he's just bare minimum, like, low Kage level, mid Kage level, if you want to use the Azuna feat. Um, after that, we kind of see uh, where he gets him and his platoon, right, with um, uh, Donzo and Hiruzen, right, they're getting tracked by the Kinkaku force. Uh, he uses his sensory type to detect, there's about 20 of them. Okay, uh, during this time... They're trying to figure out who should be the decoy for the Kinkaku force so that the rest of them can escape. Hiruzen, he offers himself to uh, be the decoy, and he says that he will not die. So he's confident in the fact that he could go out against the Kinkaku force and bare minimum survive and somehow make it back to the village or whatever the case is, right? So, um... Toby Rama decides that he's going to be the person that goes out there to fight them and tells uh, Hiruzen that he's going to be Hokage from now on, and then he goes on to die. So whether you think that this is a prime Hiruzen, which I don't, I think this is a, a pre-prime Hiruzen, um, you could use this statement to say that Hiruzen thinks that he is stronger than Toby Rama and everyone else in the group. In fact, I think he even says that he is like the most skilled out of everyone in the platoon, which would include Toby Rama. So uh, take that however you will. Also, Toby Rama went to the Ginkiku Force and he died, while um, Hiruzen said he probably wouldn't. So, I mean, there's that. Okay, well, um, now I kind of want to touch on the Ginkiku Force, right? So. Um, Toby Rama says there's about 20 of them, right? Um, we don't really know what the Kinkaku Force, like, like, holds, essentially. But, um, say Gin and, uh, Ginkaku and Kinkaku are both a part of this force, right? So, if they, uh, they did not use the Sage of Six Paths tools in order to beat Toby Rama, otherwise Toby Rama would have been sealed. So, um, it's fair to say that he was probably just killed in combat 
Now, a lot of people tend to say that he probably went up against uh, the Tailed Beast versions of Gin and Kin um, because of the fact that they were trapped inside the Nine Tails and they were descendants or are believed to be descendants of the Sage of Six Paths. They were able to eat the intestines of Karama and gain Nine Tails Chakra from that, which gave them a Six Tailed Cloak. Um, that's the highest one that we see in the War Arc. Although, however, um, with that being said, Kinkaku only gets like that when Gin is uh, close to death or like essentially if one of them is about to die, then they go into tailed beast mode. So unless you think that Toby Rama was on the verge of killing one or the other and then they went into the cloaked form uh, with the six tails to kill Toby Rama, then you could upscale him that way. But I don't necessarily think that that's what happened. I think he just ran up against 20 Ninja and just got killed, and Gin and Kin happened to be a part of that group. Um, I had also seen some stuff about the Kinkuku Force um, being like 20 S rank Ninja, um, some other stuff like that. I, I don't remember Toby Rama saying that they were S rank. I could be wrong. So, I mean, uh, if it does say that somewhere, please leave in the comments below where, so that way I know for reference for next time. But yeah, um, I just wanted to cover that point real quick. Okay, so um, now I kind of want to address some of the, like, Edo Toby Rama stuff, right? So um, the main thing that people use for Toby Rama in Edo to upscale him is, um, like, his reaction to Madara's attacks and being able to tag Jubito and things like that. That's, the, like, the main arguments that I often hear from people. Well, so um, in the manga, I can't remember what chapter or page, but... Um, when Naruto and Sasuke match each other's speed to like create the Amaterasu Rasengan thing or whatever um, Minato tells them that they are going to be a, distra uh, a distraction for Toby Rama and Toby Rama confirms this like in the same panel as he's telling Jubito like oh don't get caught off guard by what's in front of you and then um, Toby Rama is able to tag Jubito with the flying raging seal and so that means that Toby Rama is now able to pretty much like teleport to wherever uh, Jubito is. And so after that happens, right, Jubito takes like no damage from anybody. Um, he gets like caught off guard again because of the Flying Raijin seal and gets tagged with tandem paper bombs, which a live Toby Rama can't use. Pe uh, people say that he often used um, the tandem, the multi tandem paper bomb whatever uh, alongside Edo Tensei like um, people that he'd bring back from the dead and he would use that jutsu with them because it like essentially requires the user to die and the reason he can use it in Edo Tensei is because we all know he can regenerate and things like that so <clears throat> I also wanted to cover his speed so like his actual speed so based off what we see in the war arc like Toby Rama's like a movement speed and reaction speed is probably on par with EMS Sasuke as well as KCM1 Naruto and um, I know people like to give it a different name like KCM 1.5 or whatever but just the KCM1 version that Naruto has after he's just gotten stronger in base so he's just a lot faster than he was when he activated it like against the Raikage for example so um, yeah that's kind of where I had um, Toby Rama set at speed and I think that's a pretty good place to have him even though it's we see it in Edo um, I think that's pretty relative to what he would be like alive so um, another thing I wanted to cover just real fast on the Edo Toby Rama stuff is um, when he's fighting Madara with no eyes and he's being used as a freaking pin cushion um, Madara tells him that he uh, boasts about being the fastest shinobi um, and that it's merely just a boast essentially and that he was like maybe he was the fastest after Madara and uh, Hashirama were, were dead or presumed to be dead from, in Madara's case but yeah Madara kind of tells him like bro you're not that strong and that like he's getting his revenge on Izuna and that he was not the fastest ninja ever or whatever the case may be is so I just wanted to put that in there because I totally forgot and uh, yeah <laughs> that's that's pretty much the Edo the, uh, Toby Rama stuff right there. 
Um, also wanted to say Madara could have been referring to Flying Raijin as being like the fastest, like that Toby Rama could also have been implying that with his space-time ninjutsu, that's what makes him the fastest. It could not just be like his base speed or whatever, so yeah, just wanted to also say that. Okay, but now where does a live, once again, I'm going to say this again, a live Toby Rama, where does a live Toby Rama scale? Okay, this was really difficult for me. I asked a lot of people. I have gotten a lot of people's opinions. People have them above Sanin. People have them as the worst Hokage. Like, people have them in a wide range of areas that he could possibly fall in. Like I said, people will often use the Edo Tensei to wink him or to even downplay him. For example, when he's doing the four ray crimson formation or whatever that all the Hokage have to do, and he's only able to um, create two shadow clones, people say it's, oh, the Edo Tensei nerfed him. It's like, no, he's also performing like one of the strongest barrier jutsus in the whole entire manga that it takes all four Kage to do. So he's just low on chakra. It has nothing to do with the fact that he's nerfed by Edo Tensei. So I um, just wanted to clear that up. But so where do I have Toby Rama scaled? Okay, so I have Toby Rama scaled around Sanin level. Where do you put him in that is up to you. I will leave that up to you. But I think that Sanin level is um, a, a very good place to put him considering we don't see that much from him. But we also know that he's like stronger than your average Hokage, right? And normally when we do, when we talk about strengths and tiers, we would go like Genin, Chunin, Jonin, Kage, Sanin, and then Sanin Plus and so on and so forth, right? So um, where I actually have him is I have him right above Tsunade. Um, I know Tsunade's AP is like really crazy. I just think that Toby Rama has more hacks. So if like say Tsunade and Toby Rama were to fight 1v1, I think Toby Rama would win. Do I think it would be easy? No, I think it would be like high to mid diff, like at the very lowest. Um, I don't see him beating Jiraiya um, with the Sage Mode and Frog Song, which you can't break out of. Um, there's just I, uh, all the summonings, like we don't really get to see Toby Rama like use his summonings even though i think in the data book it says he has summonings we just never see them um so i, I think that he kind of caps out around like uh sage jiraiya mode like I, I like i think that's a good place for him i don't see him beating orochimaru and like i said earlier you could argue that a young hiruzen was stronger than hokage toby brahma and uh orochimaru tells hiruzen that if he would have tried to take over or destroy Konoha 10 years ago he would have lost and this is when Hiruzen's like 70 so even if Orochimaru would have tried to do it when he was like 55 60 he still would have got clapped by Hiruzen so I think that um you know I I just think that that's a good place to put him I feel like he's relative like I said he's relative to speed and uh to EMS Sasuke and KCM1 or KCM 1.5 Naruto however you want to put it um he doesn't have a lot of showings with AP or anything like that besides tan to paper bomb and killing Izuna with a sword. So it's kind of hard to say exactly like how strong he is. Um, I know that he created XYZ Jutsu, but like I said um, in previous videos, like those Jutsus have been evolved and gotten better. And so I don't necessarily think that his Jutsu will put him like over anyone that has Sage ability, essentially. So, yeah, um, that's where I have Toby Rama scaled. Uh, if, I mean, if you guys want to talk about it more, leave a comment. Like, I'm open to hearing any criticism, whatever. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it took me so long to put this out. It was uh, kind of stressful to make, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, so if you could, like and subscribe to the video. It helps the channel a lot. Um, I'm going to be posting more. I know I was on, a, like, a month hiatus or longer. Um, I'm gonna get back to it. I just was dealing with some stuff and uh, we're back at it, baby So like I said like and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to y'all later